and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of the Hashemid Kingdom of Jordan, Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah Thani or the Second, arrived this afternoon to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Chairman of the Isa bin Salman Educational Fund, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, welcomed His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Jordan, upon arrival and wished him a pleasant stay in the Kingdom. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Alid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the meeting of the Arab Ministerial Quartet Committee on following up on the crisis with Iran and ways to address Iran's interference in the internal affairs of the Arab countries. The committee consists of uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, the Arab Republic of Egypt, and the Secretary General of the League of Arab States. The meeting was held today in Tunis on the sidelines of the 30th Ordinary Session of the Arab League Council meeting at the ministerial level. During the meeting, the ministerial committee discussed the developments of the crisis with Iran, the course of the Arab relations with Iran, and the ways to deal with Iranian interference in the internal affairs of the Arab countries. The ministerial committee issued a statement condemning the continuation of Iranian interference in the internal affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain, supporting terrorism, training and harboring terrorists, and the stirrup of sectarian strife. The committee also welcomed the decision of a number of countries to designate the Iran-based so-called Al-Ashtar Brigade's terrorist group in the Kingdom of Bahrain as a terrorist organization and designating a number of its members on the terrorist list. This position reflects the determination of world countries to address terrorism and those supporting or inciting and sympathizing with it at the regional and international levels. This position also supports the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its actions in enhancing security, stability and peace in the Kingdom. The committee stressed the importance of the report submitted by the Kingdom of Bahrain to the 151st session of the Arab League Council on Iran's intervention in the internal affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain during the period from January till December of 2018, which affirms Iran's continued support for terrorism and provoking sedition to destabilize security and stability in the Kingdom. The committee affirmed the support of the Kingdom of Bahrain in all measures taken to maintain its security and stability. The committee also condemned Iran's continued support for the terrorist act in the Arab world, including the continuation of the firing of ballistic missiles from Yemeni territory towards the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, where it fired more than 200 ballistic missiles on a number of Saudi cities. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the Arab Foreign Minister's preparatory meeting for the 30th Arab Summit to be held in, on Sunday, the 31st of March 2019. The meeting discussed the issues on the agenda of the Arab Summit. The meeting adopted several draft resolutions submitted to the Arab Summit, which dealt with the Palestinian cause and the Arab-Israeli conflict, the occupied Syrian Julan Heights, the developments in the Syrian Arab Republic, 
The meeting also affirmed the absolute sovereignty of the United Arab Emirates over its three islands, Tumb al kubra Tumb al sughra and Abu Musa, condemning the Iranian interference in the internal affairs of the Arab countries and emphasizing the maintenance of Arab national security and combating terrorism. Earlier, Sheikh Khalid had taken part in the consultative meeting of the Arab foreign ministers that preceded the preparatory meeting. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce, Tourism, Zayed Al Zayani, Christie's and the Bahrain Institute for Pearls and Gemstones, Danat, today officially inaugurated the magnificent pearls exhibition held at the Four Seasons Hotel in Bahrain Bay. In the presence of the honorary chairman of Christie's, the Earl of Snowden, Welcoming guests at the opening ceremony, the minister highlighted that Danat was established at the instigation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, noting the continuous support extended by His Royal Highness to the Kingdom's national plan to revive Bahrain's historic pearling industry, which dates back to 5,000 years. As Zayani further highlighted the importance of the exhibition in further supporting and developing pearling industry in the kingdom and the wider region. Speaking at the event, the senior international director of Christie's Jewels, David Warren, stated that exhibitions focused entirely on natural pearls are very rare, adding that it has been a real pleasure curating the current one, which showcases nearly 50 lots of exceptional natural pearls from the wider region. Magnificent Pearls is one of the largest pearl exhibitions ever organized, with more than 60 exceptional pearl jewels, all certified by Danat, being displayed to the public. The exhibition also reinforces Bahrain's position as a global center for natural pearls and demonstrates Danat's dedication to developing the local and regional pearl and gemstone industry, as well as offering off-training programs to the next generation of gemologists, as well as those interested in pearls and gemstones from Bahrain and across the world. F1 enthusiasts from all over the kingdom and the region flock to witness the adrenaline pumping activities at the Bahrain International Circuit, providing, besides the race, world-class entertainment and a variety of events suitable for all members of the family. More in this report with Hib Abdel Ghaffar. The Formula One is not just the race. It provides breathtaking entertainment, outstanding shows, extravagant acts and exceptional stage performances, unique thrilling activities, suitable for all the age groups and all members of the family. And I'm excited to go to Formula One to check out the entertainment and watch the, um, the race. And I'm really excited to watch um, some amazing shows. It brings to Bahrain major star attractions, such as superstar DJ and record producer Martin Garrix, performing live, followed by world-renowned Marvel Kaigo on the following day. We have two amazing concerts, the best DJs uh, on the market now, Martin Garrix and Kaigo. Uh, but besides that, we have two fantastic rides. For the first time at the circuit, we are having a 42-meter high Ferris wheel and we have a star flyer which is 60 meter high. I mean, just trying it was, was absolutely something that out of this world. So I urge everyone not to miss this opportunity. Kids Tent is offering a great festival, a carnival games for the first time. I think every kid will walk away from BIC with a great gift uh, from these carnival games. Uh, we are having a haunted house, bigger, much bigger haunted house than the first time. Besides, of course, the fan zone uh, games when, and experiences that's available. So I think, as usual, BIC is offering something for every member of the family. 
Not only the concerts, there are world-class live street performances all day, engaging audiences and passers-by with their delightful, cheerful acts that fill the heart with joy, such as colorful and upbeat roaming multi-talented stilt walkers, men aliens with four heads and four legs, Steve and Tom's Circus Entertainment, United Kingdom's Best of the Best Street Acts. Dr. Bubbles, with his fantastic romantic bubbles synchronizing with the music. Rainbow Ballet's spectacular show and much more fantastic magical and impressive performances. There is also a wonderful circus parade with accompanying musical box inviting everyone to share a smile or dance with them. Uh, I'm from Saudi Arabia and I'm excited for Motor Gags. Of course, I came for Motor Gags. Concerts, main thing. Thrill lovers are not forgotten. There is also the extreme entertainment, including thrills and chills at the mummy's tomb, the 60 meters high star flyer, the 42 meter high giant Ferris wheel and much more. It's a breathtaking blast to all members of the family. Reporting for Bahrain International, Amheba Abdul Ghaffar.